you see there's uh, water vapor coming out, no smoke. That's a cold start. Just normal water vapor. No smoke filling up the neighborhood. I wanted you to see that. The car's been sitting for about, the pickup's been sitting for about uh, 24 hours. About 6.30 p.m. Sunday night, March 31st. Take a good look at it. Yeah, started up cold. Runs a little high idle while it's cold and it slows down on its own. It's fuel injected. Let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood. As you can see, I need the seat cover. A side window. And we'll go right back here real quick and I'll show it to you. It needs a, uh, a bumper because this one's been twisted. Somebody hit a pole with it when they're backing up. All right. It's got a bed liner. It's original paint. It's peeling on the hood. There's no cracks in the windshield. Easier said than done when I'm doing it by hand. Want you to see that it's, it's bone cold. Put my hand right on it. Okay. Uh, the only modification of this truck is that it has a cold air intake. I broke the two hose intake when I was cleaning the throttle body. The junkyard didn't have any of those. So he actually had one of these on a used truck that came in and sold it to me for 60 bucks. Anyway. I just uh, replaced the uh, um, oil with, uh, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? Uh, Mobile One full synthetic. And let's see what we're gonna do here. Let's see if I can't make this work. I'm gonna try and I don't want you to see how this truck drives. I don't want you to see me so much. It's, I'm not the star of the show, the truck is. Alright, let's turn that down. Uh, it's got a stereo CD player. Um it is a five-speed. Overdrive, that's a 5 liter V8. That's the 3024 V8, 1994. What's really great about this pickup truck, folks, 117,802 miles. Call it 118,000 miles, original miles. There's a lot of other uh, um, pickups on Craigslist, F-150s, like in the 92 to 96 range, that are uh, double, triple this price with way more miles. Yes, it needs a seat cover. Okay, yes, it needs a wing window. It's about 45 bucks for the wing window, probably about 40 bucks for a seat cover at Pep Boys, and you're ready to go. Folks, you can get in this and put the key in it and drive it to Los Angeles tomorrow. You can't do that with a lot of these other trucks on this website. This has a, tr in September of 2017, I put a new clutch in this truck. Um, I laid on my back, did it myself. This truck was owned previously to me by a guy uh, that died of cancer, but his last 10 years of owning it, uh, it was just his weekend driver. Uh, this truck has been driven very little. It doesn't have any options really to speak of, folks. It's got power steering, power windows, I mean, uh, crank windows, and, and manual door locks, okay? It's a basic truck, there's no AC. But this truck is super, super reliable, folks. Um, I'm going to say the only things that are wrong with it are the wing window, the uh, it needs a, a seat cover, and uh, and the back bumper still works. You can still pull stuff with it. It's still a hitch ball on it, but it's, it, it got bent a little bit when it, he backed into a pole. Now, um, I think it's going to need a power steering pump eventually because it makes a lot of noise, but it's full and it doesn't leak. It's full of power steering fluid. It works fine, but it whines. 
I took it to the shop and they said, well, we don't think it's the uh, pulleys. Uh, they all seem to be doing just fine. Um, they think it's the power steering pump, but keep driving it to look what's working. Uh, if you can't stand the noise of the noisy power steering pump, then I guess you can uh, replace it. But anyway, folks, a lot of these other trucks on here for way more money than this one are, uh, are, 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 are very, you know, I would say this is, this is a reliable vehicle. If you need a pickup for work, if you're doing cable, if you're doing service calls, you're doing garage doors, you need to throw a, a toolbox and a ladder rack on it, this truck is going to start every morning. You're going to be able to get in this truck and drive it. It's had a recent tune-up. I put new plugs in it. Uh, it's got a, a new air filter, and it's got new... Uh, I just had an oil change and, and uh, had a small heater hose uh, that was weeping, so I replaced it with new clamps. And when I did that, I flushed out the, uh, the radiator, so it's got fresh coolant in it even. So, I mean, the truck's ready to go. All the lights work, blinkers work, tail lakes work, wipers work. You know, everything works. So, let's go for a ride real quick, folks. I want to show you how smooth it is. I want you to see that this is no hoopty that you're looking at down the road. It's a, it's a great truck, but the five-speed with the new clutch, it's a really great pickup. It's plenty tight, too. Listen to that. Uh, the camera is stuck to the window, so I'm not holding it while I drive. But uh, So it might be a bouncy, but not as bouncy as me holding it, let me tell you. Let's go for a quick little spin here. Ah, oh, we got the light, look at that. Oh, better slow down, it's 40. All right, so. I think it's a, uh, look. Hands off. Hands off, folks. Hands off. She goes where you point her. Now it's going to go to the right. Get it to stay straight. There it is. Look at that. Hands off. Wheels not shimmying. Doesn't have a bad vibration. Oh, by the way, new tires. New tires, folks. New tires. So uh, this truck is you get in it and you drive it to LA tomorrow. Um, it beats the price of all other trucks. And I'll be honest with you, the only reason I'm selling it fast is because I got a job back in my hometown Las Vegas. And I gotta leave in less than two weeks. If not, I was gonna repaint parts of this truck, put a new bumper on it, uh, you know, paint the bumpers black, and do a bunch of work to it, uh, you know, detail work to make it really sweet. Um, do a seat cover, all that stuff. Well, I see one just like this, with 75,000 more miles, same color as this, it's got all that. It's got black painted bumpers, it's got some nice chrome wheels, it's got a nice seat cover, and that guy's selling that for more than $3,500, folks. That's, uh, gosh, that's that's uh, triple. That's almost, yeah, that's more than double, almost triple what I want. Let's see, let's see folks. So the price you're going to see uh, in, the, uh, in the ad is the price that I'm going to take. I'm not going to haggle. I know that sounds terrible, but you see the truck. You know you need something reliable. You have a budget. Uh, let's say you have a budget, and this is a couple hundred less than that. Well, well, you already did your haggling. You found somebody that needs a, that has a fire sale. I need to sell it. It needs to go. Oh, by the way, no crack dash. This is a really long light. I can't stand it, but I want you guys to be real time with me. So, uh, if you can put up with it, you know, skip ahead a couple minutes to get through this light. Um, <clears throat> a bunch of people around me think I'm crazy talking to the camera. What else can I tell you about it? Oh, both tanks work. She's got a front and a rear tank. She's got a switch right over here. They work, no problems. Gauges work. Not a single tick in the engine. Nothing. Now it's gonna get a little noisy because of this tape window right here, folks, but if you have a, if you have a window, uh, if you put a window in it, okay, there's no rust on this view. Look underneath it, it's clean. No rocker panels or corners rusted. It's got very good, um, 
uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, well, it's got the stock factory exhaust. Well, I'm gonna open up the window a little. Oh, I got that on warm, no wonder. See, that's great on the freeway, which is why I'm taking you on the freeway. gets this truck is getting a super reliable truck uh, and when I say the oil was just changed I mean it was just changed 500 almost 600 miles ago well here's the sticker right here you can read it yourself so, and I still got the extra port they gave me I use mobile one synthetic so not struck up. Oh, I'll go at 70. I don't even know it. Okay. I gotta be careful. I got a ticket. You guys see me get a ticket on uh, on video. But uh, this truck is uh, climbing a hill at 65, 68, 70, whatever, with no problems. It doesn't. It, it just goes down the road nice and smooth and easy. It's still nice and quiet the way it drives. It doesn't sound like a rattle trap. Yeah, maybe there's a couple things behind the seat that are rattling when I go over a bump. But the truck itself is still really tight. Um, it's had a bed liner in it from day one. So, and even that's not worn out. So, the horns work. So, uh, Basic, good pickup for somebody who needs something reliable, back and forth to work. It's a great first car. Everybody should learn how to drive a stick shift, by the way. It's a great first vehicle for a teenager. It's big enough so that they don't get hurt. They get in a small accident. And it doesn't, you still you can still drive it. It's as tough as a tank. You saw the bumper, right? And it's a, it's a great work vehicle if you've got a a new job where you need a, a truck every day, from garage door installers to cable installers to, uh, um, well, gosh, if you just want to go do delivery of stuff for like Amazon, I think you need to put a topper on the back so it doesn't get rained on, but you know, um, for the price, you know, I think we're doing really well here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull over. Had a nice time to warm it up. I've driven it nice and I've, 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 I've let's say I've, 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 I've put the wick to it. Oh! Alarm shift. Sorry. I put the wick to it so it warms up nice, so you can see. All right. Get out and take a look at it. That sun is probably killing you. Oh well. I'll be over in just a second. <laughs> I think it's funny I miss a gear. I'm a truck driver. <laughs> of course a truck driver doesn't mind a manual transmission vehicle, right? Here we are, Evergreen Exit, up here in Everett. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, California stop, okay, I see. Whoops. I'll make everything go right off the seat. Brakes, by the way, folks, work great. <laughs> 
I'm probably driving it a little bit more aggressively than I normally do because I'm trying to show off that it works good. That's all. So you've seen it from warm up. Let's go over here and find a spot. In the sun, maybe. Well, we'll put up with the noise. What the heck? Oh, reverse works. We know that now. Okay. I didn't knew that because I was in my parking spot. But anyway, emergency brake works just fine. I'm gonna leave it running so you can hear it when I get out, and then I'll turn it off and we'll look underneath it. Pull you off of the window here. Here we go. Okay, look folks, I want you to look at this. Temperature's normal. Gas tank's normal. The volts are normal. Let's go ahead and uh, put it on the rear tank. Rear tank doesn't have any gas in it. I just got it off to run, it's still running. But I run them down pretty low. Sometimes I'll run it out. But back to the, oh, that was the front tank I went to. Now the rear tank's got gas, so. All right, let's get out and look at it. All right, let's uh, let's do that hood again. All right, again. Now she's warmed up a little, folks. Yeah, I don't want to keep my hand on that. But it's not super hot. Got the heater hoses here. The little heater hose are replaced right in there. You can see the new clamps. All right, let's turn it off so you can hear me talk. All right. All right, let's look at the tires. Oh, yeah, look at that. They look good, don't they? Yeah, and they're good tires, too. They're Coopers. And they're actual truck tires. They're not car tires somebody threw on a truck to save money. That means they're six-ply. Folks, does not come with the plates. You gotta go get new plates in your name anyway. Everybody in Washington thinks it comes with the plates. If I give you those plates, you have plates in my name driving around in my truck with my name. Something happened, that would be terrible. So, Oh, you know how much the plates cost? Uh, I believe it was $112, and it does not need a smog because it's a, it's a two, 1994. There are no check engine lights, folks. So. Stock factory exhaust. You can see the tires still look good. Let's go back up into here. Let's see if we can get it to. No, I don't think we're gonna get it to. Yeah, there we go. You can see, no rust, everything looks good. Uh, when you look underneath it, you're gonna see that there's no, there's no oil dripping out of it or coolant dripping out of it. So, she's a good pickup. Everything works just fine, folks. You can even look at the, uh, at the uh, belt, and the belt's still okay. All right. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and uh, close that. Let's do a final little walk around. So you get the idea. There's that bent bumper. Couldn't see it clearly before, I know. That's okay. Guess what that bumper still does, it still bumps. So, got a hitch, got a hookup for a trailer. Um, Here's a tie down from when I moved to bed. I could probably take that off. The Ford. It's got the Ford uh, uh, bed liner still. It's still got pine cones. I'll include those for free. Um, oh, sorry. It's got a ding right here. It's got a parking lot ding. The 26, 25 year old truck's got a ding. Anyway, folks, you're really doing yourself a disservice if you don't come buy this pickup. Wish you all luck in your search for a vehicle. And.
come on down and take a look at this one.